Hey, it's your old pal Frimbark, and today we're going to take a look at a not too distant blast from the past meatloaf, brown onion gravy with caramel color added. That's a huge plus, and some mashed potatoes. You know a mark, right? <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and heat these in the cup in the package, and then I'll mix them together once I feel they are warm enough. Yeah, it's got a unique odor. Oh, thank you. Similar to uh, a, a trash bag in the hot sun. <laughs> All right, here we go. My first tasting of blood sausage. Put on the here. Oh. Oh. I want to have another big fillet, so. Looks like a meaty Oreo or something. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm having a hard time with this plate. Here we go. I'm going to bring her in, maybe. That's the goodness right there. It's not awful. It has a... I'm trying to... Did you try it? Oh, you... I haven't tried it yet. I got to think about this. It's, um... There's a seasoning in there that requires thought. What is it? What is that? I have to edit this pretty heavily. Oh. All right, I'll try to get your fish here. Let me rinse. <laughs> Mark brought me some rockfish. I'm going to rinse out some of that blood fish with some of this. Or blood fish, blood sausage. sausage. <laughs> get a bee on your sausage, huh? All right, here we go. That looks good. Yeah, it's actually really tasty. I like it. So this there might is, be a few bones in there, but I think they're small. And... All right, so here's some rockfish that Mark made. Well, that's delicious. Yeah. Well, we're boiling here. That's been in there for a while. I'm going to say it's hot, and I'm going to take her out and let it cool a bit before I put oh, my really? paws it into exactly it. It's exactly like coffee. Really? Oh, kasha? Yeah, kasha. Huh. Well, then that's good news. Yeah, we're uh, uh, Dave's making up a little uh, haggis here. And it doesn't look terrible at all, and he's uh, got it going on with the Guinness, so he's definitely uh, thematically got it correct. Now it's authentic. Gee, I'm bubbled up there. <laughs> Here's the uh, mashers in the bag. They don't look too terrible. I'm going to get it in the cup. I'm gonna, uh, let me try first. Ooh. Here's a wee bit on a spoon. It's, um... You know what? It tastes like the uh, potatoes are rotten without the cheese. That's exactly what it tastes like. But here's inside the bag of that meatloaf. It's not too terrible looking. Let me get her into the cup. I think that's the only way to do it. Oh, I want that cool off. Wow, that's actually a pretty good piece of meatloaf right there if it actually tastes any good. Right, let's get a bite of this meatloaf going. Doesn't look bad. I've seen a lot of the meats that come out of an MRE package, and this one actually looks kind of like it's supposed to. Oh. Hmm. Could just help a sliver of that off and tell me what you think that tastes like. You gotta get a new you know, cut up. Thank you, sir. And just push down, you gotta use yeah, a little muscle. Mm -hmm. That is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Has kind of like a grainy texture too. Well, I would be not happy to <laughs> if you if you had to eat this like every fourth or fifth day. Oh my god. Yeah, you'd different. probably eat it once and then trade oh. it to a newbie. You'd want hey, to kinda, you want some meatloaf? I don't want to mash this up with your with your potatoes, I think. And then dump a bunch of garlic pepper on there. Or yeah, something. you need some a lot of pepper on there. Wow. I, no, have, this, some I have some pepper. This is the kind of thing. This would make you like definitely get in the mood to kill the enemy. That's what this would do. Oh. Fix bait it and charge or eat the meatloaf. Oh. Cold, <laughs> cold meatloaf. You got, you got choices. 
It could be used as a threat too. It's like, all right, we're gonna win today. And to complete today's culinary explosion will be the haggis, which mm. it actually smells pretty good. Click. I didn't turn the viewfinder because I'm stupid. Here we go. So final thoughts on that meatloaf, which I'm not going to finish. I'm pretty sure that it's petroleum based and supposed to taste like meat. I, it, am I wrong? I think that's what it is. It was not good. No, it was awful. No, um, it was not good at all. No. Oh, it made me want blood sausage. That's pretty much... Let's hope this haggis has cooled down a little bit. It's kind of interesting. It looks like there's like a... I don't know, stuff. Anyhow, sheep's heart. It's not too bad. Yeah. It's like, it'd be good on a cracker, I think. Very meaty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it would be good on a cracker. So this Labrador just tried that meatloaf, and he said it tasted at least as good as his own ass. And the evils of being full have uh, reared their ugly heads, so I had a little bit more to cook, but I had no room for it unless I wanted to suffer with food coma.